uh, tonight. I want to say how much we appreciate this station and Sister Margaret and all of you folks out there that support this station. If it wasn't for this station, there are so many people that wouldn't get to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, the nursing homes, the hospitals, people that are shut in at their homes. Not only just them, there's a lot of people that don't ever go to church and this station reaches them. So many souls we, we sang here tonight and there was over five souls, around five souls that got saved or six. And we just thank the Lord for this station and Sister Margaret. God bless you. Uh, good evening and welcome to the service tonight. I think they uh, gave us a quick start there. And, uh, but anyway, we're here and we're glad that you're there. And so we're going to... Uh, uh, we're going to uh, be here for a service, have some good singing, and Dottie has phone operators, and so if you would uh, like to call, feel free to do so. All right, we want to uh, share some scripture. This is always encouraging, and that's Psalms 91. And this psalm has been used so many times. We have heard story after story of how someone in the military uh, before they would go to battle, how they would read Psalms 91 to the whole group that they was taking, and they would come back, every one of them would, from a battle. And so um, it's just so powerful, and, and I always enjoy this, and knowing, knowing that the words are so full of promise. So if you haven't read it lately, uh, grab your Bible if you can, and follow along with us, Psalms 91. It's, it's full of promises. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be uh, afraid uh, for the t terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. It's the 11th verse. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In other words, the angels have, they are commissioned by the Lord on what to do. And I know there's uh, some things uh, circulating saying for you to pray to your angel and for you to uh, try to entertain your angel and and so forth like this, but that's not that is not from God because God is the only one that can instruct your angel on how to take care of you. You do not worship angels and you do not pray to them. We're to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. And so if you have had that uh, idea come your way, just remember it's from the enemy because he has uh, wants to deceive people as much as he can and uh, he has uh, tried to make himself look like an angel of light at times but you do not pray to your angel and you cannot command your angels to do anything only God they are under his charge okay they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder a young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Now right there is the whole key to your safety. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. 
He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Only 16 verses in Psalms 91. But it is full of promises. If if the Lord, uh, if we make him first in our life, if we're, uh, if he is... Uh, the Lord of our life, then He is obligated and and wants to He wants to help us and He will help us, and that's what is the good thing about when you read Scripture, find out how does it pertain to you, because it is so important to know what the Bible says, and so we're going to uh, we're going to pray and believe the Lord uh, for some blessings tonight. Uh, there's a uh, Someone called in, uh, Frank Davis has called, uh, wants to wish his wife Ruth a happy 85th birthday from Winchester, and they have been married 60 years on the 31st of this month. So congratulations to Frank and Ruth Davis on 60 years of marriage and her 85th birthday. That is always a blessing. We have others, and we'll be uh, taking care of all those requests later. And But you, if you have a request or if you have a praise report, we'd love to hear from it, from you about it. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this scripture tonight. And each time I read it, I feel more secure because I know that you have angels assigned to each of us to take care of us and to bring us to the place that you have prepared for us. And so, Lord, tonight, for those that need a touch from you, those that need some direction, we know that you can speak to their hearts. You can help them to know what job to take, what jobs to turn down, what friends to choose, and what friends uh, or what people to stay away from. Because we know that it's really important for us to, to walk as close to you as possible. Bless those that are sick tonight and in the nursing homes. And in the hospitals, Lord, they they need your help. And so we ask you to bless them, minister to them, and your will be done in their life. Bless and anoint our singers and the phone operators tonight, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we have for to sing for us tonight from Gracie Creek, Kentucky. We have the Gospel Witness. They do have CDs and working on some more. Uh, their phone number is 606-743-3880, and that will get you information on how to purchase their CDs and where they're going to be singing next. So let's welcome Gospel Witness. <laughs> Put on a robe and crown. What a time in heaven when they lay these burdens down. What a time in heaven when they put on a robe and crown. Everybody shouting glory, hallelujah, when I leave this sinful crown. What a time in heaven when I put on a robe and crown.
Send this song out to, to my little sister over in Floyd, Floyd County, Valerie Harrison. This for you, sis. Upon this earth, he knew his father's plan. He knew that he soon would die to save the soul of man. While down on bended knees, the father heard his cry. Oh, father, let thy will be done. But he really didn't want to die. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Lord, I want to go to heaven, but I don't want to die. Praise the day when I had a new birth, still I like living on this earth. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. right quick, introduce the guys to you, tell you right quick who all of us are. To my left is Marvin Holbrook. He's from over at West Liberty, Kentucky. Plays the lead guitar, and after a while he'll be playing mandolin. And over on the other side, the farthest over there, David Wayne Nickel, playing bass. Mark Walter, he plays rhythm guitar and sings tenor. My name's William, William Walter. We're all from Morgan County, and we do call ourselves Gospel Witness. This next song we're going to do is a acapella song. I guess you might say it's a funeral song, but it's got a good message in it. It says that there will be no coffins in glory land because there will be no death in glory land. That's really something to look forward to, isn't it? If you have friends in glory left because of pain there'll be no pain in glory land they'll suffer not again so we not friends
No graves out there, bright shore, the lame in glory land will walk, the blind up there will see, the death in next song we're going to do is Heaven's Jubilee. Heaven's Jubilee. We'll pick the tempo up just a little bit here. Savior in the sky. 
Country Song at Sunrise. me just a cabin on the corner of glory land and somebody said i need to move a little closer to the mic i thought my mouth was big enough to where you could hurt me halfway or all the way across the room try this now i'd like to do this song for one of my buddies at advanced auto parts in west liberty ralph kidd today's ralph's birthday i'm not sure how old he is but i'm sure this is the oldest he's ever been he probably wouldn't want you to tell his age anyway <laughs> For many years I've been searching for a place to call home But I failed to find it here so I must travel on I care not for mansions built of sink and sand Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land Lord, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land in the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand Where 
I can hear the angels sing and shake my Savior's hand. Lord, build me a cabin and a core of glory land. Many dear loved ones have done gone on their way, but from that great final morning when I hear them say, come join in our singing and play in our band. Lord, build me a cabin and a corner of glory land. Lord, build me just a cabin and a corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of life that it never stand, where I can hear the angels sing and shake my Savior's hand. Lord, build me a cabin in a corner of glory land. Lord, build me a cabin in a corner of glory land. Someday the Lord will descend from his home in the sky. He will appear with his angel man in the twinkling of an eye. He'll carry all the believers to the sweet by and by. Can you imagine, imagine to be left behind? Can you imagine the pain the Savior bore on that day? From the old rugged cross to the tomb where
What you see here before you is not what I've always been. I once was broken and battered by sin. The story that I tell you is such a marvelous thing. How love brought together a beggar and a king. I traded for riches. going to have a wonderful time up there and boy I tell you what that's the truth I don't know exactly what heaven's going to be the Bible has given us a glimpse but we know by faith that heaven's going to be a perfect place a place of joy and we'll be there with Jesus Christ our Savior and all of our loved ones that have turned their lives over to Jesus it's going to be a wonderful place everybody's going to have a wonderful time up there
Get your holy Bibles in the back of the book. The book of Revelation is a place to look. If you don't understand it, you can if you try. Heaven's a coming from his throne on high. Everybody's going to have religion in glory. Everybody's going to be singing that story. Everybody's going to have a wonderful time up there.
sister Margaret we'll do one more here if I can find it right quick and uh, then sister Margaret will give us a break and say a few words and have prayer what we're going to do right now is Father's Table Grace As we sit at the table, our family's heads all bowed low. My thoughts go back to childhood and the finest man I know. He doesn't speak good English, he's just a simple man. But when he's talking to the Lord, even a little child can understand. I was young and restless, but the thoughts still come to me. When I told my dad, I felt I was old enough to leave. He sat there at the table, and a look came on his face. And he never spoke another word until he said the table grace. He said, our gracious Heavenly Father, we've all gathered here today to give thee thanks for blessings, so I believe we pray. My oldest son is leaving now, and I'm sure he knows what's best. But just in case, would you stand by? and help him pass the test. Lord, he's been awful neglectful about church on Sunday morn. And if he gets with the wrong crowd, would you let him hold your arm? And if he flies too high, would you kindly clip his wings, but don't let him fall too hard. But Lord, I'm sure you know how to handle things. I've tried my best from day to day to teach him right from wrong and he's grown to be a fine young man and he's always blessed our home we pray dear Lord for guidance that he won't build upon the sand but we won't worry half as much if we know he's in your hands and oh yes Lord it won't be long till I'm coming home don't make me wait too long we pray dear Lord for guidance Please cleanse us from our sins so we can all be together in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. The table was silent and tears ran down my face. And from that day on, I based my life on Father's table grace. That was a fine song. We've heard that one for some time, but it's always good to know that that whatever we pray, we can we can believe the Lord to take care of our family members. We was talking here in the studio before service about uh, needing to pray for families that are being affected by drugs, uh, 
And you know, I don't know anyone that's some way or other, uh, someone they know or acquainted with, or it's in their family or in the community that's not being affected by it. It's, it's become an epidemic. It's just destroying our people. And so we do definitely need to pray for deliverance for uh, everyone that is addicted to drugs. And, uh, you know, they, they need, they need it. You've been listening to the Gospel Witness from Grassy Creek, Kentucky. They do have CDs and working on more. You may call them at 606-743-3880, and they'll tell you more about their plans. We have a number of prayer requests. We'll share some of them right now while they're taking a quick break. And uh, we have a couple of good, really good friends of this ministry. And uh, we heard today that uh, Bertha Mays, uh, she has been a friend of this ministry since way back in radio, early of the radio days of WLJC, which is 49 years ago. And uh, she, along with her late husband, had a radio program for many years. And he's gone on to be with the Lord. But Bertha has been having some health issues, and we just learned that she is now in a nursing home in Irvine, Kentucky, Bertha Mays. And so we'll... Um, we want to pray for her. Another good friend that prays for all of us here at this at the station, and she is uh, she will be a 100 years old in September, and she has been put in a nursing home because she has pneumonia and is requiring a lot of uh, treatment that they can't uh, give her at home. And so Mamie Bree, she's all the time uh, uh, praying. I mean, she calls out. Uh, all of her staff and everybody's name, the singers that she knows. Uh, she used to live in Lexington, and then she moved to um, up northern Kentucky to be with her son. And now she's in a nursing home and really sick. So, uh, you know, people that really love the ministry and stood behind us all these years, been her friend, you know, it's, it's sad to see they are... Um, having health issues and are uh, just in real need of prayer. But you know, these bodies were not made to last forever. They get tired, they get weary. And so I know Miss Mamie, she says she's wanting to go home. She doesn't know why the Lord hasn't sent for her because she will be a hundred years old. And But you know, he's not going to he send for us until he is ready. We have um, uh, from, I'm not sure, remember where this is from, but there's a Dan Coffee that his wife had passed away and he's having a difficult time. And uh, uh, a family member said that he watches the program every night, so we trust that uh, the songs will be a blessing to him. Someone is called and complimenting the singers and uh, tonight and uh, if you didn't not get their phone number, it'll be on the screen when they come back and, and you can call them. All right, here's a lady that uh, had a seizure today and is facing surgery from Montgomery County. Uh, this one has asthma and is coughing a lot from Madison County, a friend that's had a stroke. A lady from Powell County has called in for a family that's having some really big issues. Uh, the man was in service and he's not treating his family very good. And so they all need prayer there. From Mount Sterling, uh, Dennis has called for Carol that is um, having surgery on the 23rd. A mother has called for a family physical needs. And here's another one with family problems. Uh, this seems to be uh, pretty common and that's uh, enemy is trying to aggravate and destroy and kill well uh, we know Jesus said he has come to steal kill and destroy anything that is good and so um, it's up to us not let this happen here is Amanda has called for a family that their uh, their dad passed away a grandmother for a granddaughter that's having surgery from Corbin 
someone with blood clots in the lungs. Uh, this one is for uh, someone from Scott County, Curtis, that's in the hospital in the spine clinic, it says. Uh, Philip, uh, back surgery the, for the fifth time. Joyce, and a husband has called for Norma Jean, had a stroke last week, and but is back home. All right, uh, if the singers are uh, ready, well, we'll, we'll see that they, uh, uh, see if they're ready to come back and get as many songs as they can in because they're like a lot of other people. They're busy and they, uh, it's hard to get people scheduled when they have to work for, work during the day and then go at night. It makes, it makes it a little hard. The days get a little long when you, when you're up all day and then night too. All right, we have the Gospel Witness from Grassy Creek, Kentucky. The phone number is 606-743-3880. And they're ready to sing for us again. They drove me up the hill, Thomas. I am a man. Made me catch cross, Thomas. I am a man. I am a man, Thomas. I am a man. Look at these nail scars here in my hand. They crown my head with thorns, Thomas. I am a man. Nail me to the cross, Thomas. I am a man. I am a man, Thomas. I am a man. Look at these nail scars here in my head. They pierced me in the side, Thomas. I am a man. I died on the cross, Thomas. I am a man. I am a man, Thomas. I am a man. Look at these nail scars here in my hand. They buried me in the tomb, Thomas. I am a man.
ship I have traveled through the darkness dreary, far over hills and valleys and across the desert sands. Thoughts bland that safe and homeward I shall not grow weary. I'm camping, I'm camping in Canaan's happy land. Every day I'm camping, camping in the land of Canaan. Something going on in the graveyard, the saints. 
was God's only son in this world below. On the cross he fulfilled the plan of salvation. is going to lead by the mark. And this song sings, says, of course, I will know my Savior by the marks of the nails in his hands. When I cross over, I will shout and sing. I will know my Savior by the marks where the nails have been. By the mark. By the mark where the nails have been. By his deep in the side upon his precious his precious skin. I will know my Savior when I come to him. By the mark where the nails have been. Sin was 
White oak on the hill near my old mountain home. It stands on that windy spur down all along. When the cold wind blows, its limbs they bend and moan. But when the storms have passed, straightens up and goes on. Troubles of this life sometimes get me down. I look for my friends, but they're not always around. The good Lord can say, son, get up and do my will. And I'll always remember that old white oak on the hill. Lord, let me be like that. And while I'm thinking about it, I certainly want to thank Sister Margaret, and WLJC TV, and all the staff for having us here tonight. And we certainly hope that all of you that's tuned in tonight has got a blessing out of a few things that we've done. It's our prayer and our greatest desire that we can be a, a witness for Jesus Christ, our precious Savior and Lord. And we're going to end with nothing can hold me here. And I tell you what, when, when Jesus comes back and we're one of his... Nothing can hold us here. So 
Some seek for wealth down here, some seek for fame. I see Jesus and his holy name. I'm just a stranger here, soon I'll be gone. And like I said before, we sure hope and pray that you got a blessing from it. And we want to thank Sister Margaret and the TV station again. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you all for all the good songs. And now if you'd like to have their CDs, order them by calling 606-743-3880. And they're from Grassy Creek, Kentucky, the First Christian and United Methodist Church. Working together, gospel witness. All right, um, all right. We have a we have a number of prayer requests. We we'll see how many we can get on here. Uh, Justin has called for a friend that uh, needs some deliverance. Uh, Pearly says she has diabetes and her toes are numb, and she's wanting prayer that she will be uh, healed and that the feelings will come back and. Uh, that it really makes it bad when that happens. A 69-year-old brother uh, is 95% he has colon cancer. Uh, Phyllis is having surgery on Wednesday, said appreciates WLJC. Uh, two girls and a boy, a mother has called, wants to pray that they get back in church. Uh, James has called for Christine that has a problem with her neck. A lady has called for her husband that has uh, health problems and uh, has been sick all day. I tell you, these allergies is one thing that's making everybody feel so bad. A cousin in Tennessee has had two strokes and still needs prayer. A nephew in Ohio has diabetes and has had a toe uh, removed. A brother in okay, let's see, have, uh, had to... Uh, have and to, uh, tomorrow here's someone else that is having um, a leg amputated uh, and uh, that is bad a nephew that has leukemia uh, Martha for a brother that's had surgery and is in a lot of pain Michelle from Heinemann for Charlie that has cancer a lady for an infant boy and girl they, uh, the twins uh, were born premature, and they, uh, they're having, uh, the little boy's having a real uh, difficult time. Mother has called for a family from Oregon County. Goldie from Mount Sterling needs prayer for herself and her husband. A man for himself, he wants uh, protection and prayer for healing and for a better relationship with his family. From uh, Jackson... Uh, Levi had uh, called about the singers and wanted to know if they were brothers. Well, I don't know about that, but they're brothers in the Lord anyway. 
from Lincoln County, Sister Sarah called for her daughter-in-law, enjoyed the singing tonight, and a praise report is on this. She had called for prayer for uh, uh, a couple that wanted to have a start a family, and so apparently that's happened, and they're praising the Lord for that. A lady for her husband from Fleming County is in the nursing home and wants to go home so bad. Uh, Reva from Clay County, Amanda, and this one is from another Phyllis, and the uh, family needs prayer for a grandbaby, and I'm not sure, I believe that's from Johnson County, she's in the Children's Hospital in Johnson City. She, uh, the baby was born at 26 weeks, and uh, Mrs. Loudon, she, she needs prayer for healing, and she, uh, has problems a lot with her stomach and so forth. Martha for, uh, from Round County, 81 years of age and has a sleep problem. Well, sometimes there's a lot of things that keeps you from sleeping when you want to be sleeping. All right, Virginia has called for a brother-in-law that um, is, uh, well, I'm not sure what all that is, but anyway, he's a diabetic. Uh, from Barberville for uh, a lady that is having test tomorrow and it may be cancer. And you know how frightened that is for everyone is to uh, hear that word. Ollie has called for Merle from, from uh, Laurel County, from Williamsburg, James and wife. Uh, they need prayer. You know, in the, in all, all of the requests that we had today, um, it was just it was just really sad. Some uh, some of them are so serious. Uh, some families were just going through so much that you you wonder how much how much more can can a person take? But you know, the Lord's promise to never leave us nor forsake us. Now sometimes we get feeling like that we're alone because we've gotten. Uh, so caught up in our problem and in that of the uh, family or wh wherever the problem is, and we definitely need to uh, be praying for, uh, which I'm sure if you're a Christian, you have someone in your family that is addicted <clears throat> to drugs or alcohol. I know you're praying for them already, but it always helps to join with others because those are tools that Satan has got out there to, to destroy life and to destroy their souls. And that's, it's just so important that we, that we bind together and uh, keep praying, keep pleading the blood of Jesus over our family members. And so right now, let's pray. And I appreciate so much those good old seasoned saints out there. I depend upon you to help us each night as, as we pray because many of those folk out there have won many battles in prayer and they know how to pray and they hang in there. So, And they pray. That's what they tell me about the prayer requests that we share. That gives them something to pray about at night when they wake up. They remember some of the uh, requests that we had and they can identify with it and they pray. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we have you to come to. This world would be such a horrible place if we did not have you to come and pour out our heart to you, as one scripture says. And tonight, Lord, we know that we pray more, we, we seek you more when there's problems, when there's, uh, when there's someone's life is in danger or something like this, someone's sick, really sick. We know that we pray more. So... For those that are praying and standing in for deliverance for, for family members, we ask you to hear each one of those prayers. We know you hear, and we know that you will do something about it. And so we thank you for that. We know that you've instructed us to ask and then to believe and to then expect some deliverance. And so, Lord, we do this. We join with every family member that's represented in our audience tonight, maybe it's uh, the people themselves that's watching that has addictions that is destroying them. We pray for their deliverance. Well, only you can set, set the, the person 
free from this. And so we're asking for it and we're going to start thanking you because we know that the minute that they ask for help, it will be there. Bless each person that has been with us. Bless the singing group. Continue to help them in their travels and all of their family members. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, our time is coming and going for another night, so Lord willing, some of us will be back tomorrow night. And for um, all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you. WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, are brought to you through your contributions of support to Hour of Harvest Incorporated. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deductions. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed of what's happening at WLJC, along with our monthly guest list, give us a call at 606-464-3600 or write to us, WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or if you would like to join our email list, log on to www.wljc.com and sign up today. It's so easy and it's free. Their sufferings untold, each one longing for Jesus, despairing hearts silent.